Hi, I'm Danny from IKEA Greenwich. Um, today we are joined by sleep expert, Dr Guy Meadows. Um, sleep is really important for children just as much as adults, if even more so. But we all know that sometimes it's really hard to get your children to nod off and also stay asleep during the night. Together we'll be sharing with you some really simple solutions to really help your children settle down during the night, but also ensuring that your family, the whole family, um, gets a really good quality night's sleep. Hi, so first of all, how much sleep do children need? Um, I think it's a really popular question that we seem to be asked a lot. Yeah, I think that's a great question to begin with. We certainly know that there's individual variation between children, but roughly children who are newborn to three months old need around 16 hours sleep a day, separated eight hours at night and eight hours in the day. And then between four months and a year, they'll have around 14 hours a day. And then between the first and second year, they'll, that'll reduce down to 12 hours a day. And then between three and five years of age, they'll begin to drop that daytime nap. So all of their sleep begins to happen at, at night and they'll need around 11 hours. And then in that sort of pre-teen age, between six and 12, they're needing around 10 hours. So still quite a lot of sleep. And then for those teenage years, between 13 to 17, they need around nine hours of sleep so still a little bit more than us adults. Thank you that's really useful to know I think people will find it really helpful to have a good understanding of that. So sleep is a really essential part to everyone's routine and is really key for good health but it's a really fundamental part of children's growth and development, especially as children are so active and seem to always have such an endless supply of energy. Yeah, I think sleep is possibly the most powerful or important part of a child's development, and that's in their mental, emotional and physical development. So mentally, sleep helps children to be focused so that they can learn and read and memorise. Emotionally, sleep helps them to manage their mood, which is really important for them to have good behaviour and to socialise, which is really important for their development. And then physically, sleep helps them to grow. By the age of two years old, a baby's brain will have reached 70% of its adult size. Not to mention the fact that they get this big spike in growth hormone during sleep, which enables their bones and muscles to grow as well. It's also really important to bear in mind as well um, how much sleep you are getting as a parent. So really coming up with some easy solutions, for instance, having a pull-out mattress underneath the bed and also having some easy to reach bedding there too. Um, and I think it's really those precious few moments um, that you can get from kind of having these solutions that we can really help as well. Yeah, I think you've really touched on an important point that as new parents, we kind of, we put all our focus onto the children and their sleep and we forget about prioritising our own. And actually, you just want to make sure that you do, you know, sort of, you sleep when your baby's sleeping so that you can manage that sleep debt and, and you know, perhaps just have really good sleeping habits, go to bed and get up at the same time, reduce your caffeine uh, consumption, etc., just to make sure that the sleep you're getting is really good quality. A bedtime routine is one of the simplest activities that any parent can use to help prepare their child for sleep. And actually research shows that it's not just sleep that it helps, it also helps to, with their nutrition, with their hygiene, with their emotional bonding, and also their literacy and language development. So the humble bedtime routine is this incredible super skill that every parent can teach to their child to help them prepare for a good night's sleep. So in your opinion, what are the key activities that really enable us to perfect our bedtime routines? Yeah, I think there are a series of activities which every parent can do. So the first one is to do perhaps a pre-bed feed. Now we do this at the beginning of the bedtime routine because a lot of parents will fall into the trap of feeding them at the end of the bedtime routine, which where the baby begins to learn to associate feeding with sleeping and so we want to break that association and then we move into the bathroom have a warm bath 10 minutes hopefully calm and relaxing and then we can do some changing so put the pajamas on um, brush their teeth 
and, and then we move into the bedroom and that's where we hopefully will read two age appropriate books and sing them a lovely lullaby and that would help to create them and deliver them to the right point of being able to fall asleep by themselves. In my experience, children really look up to their parents, even if they don't like to admit it a lot of the time. So it's really important for us to set a really good example of what a good bedtime routine is. Yeah, absolutely. And I think being a sleep role model is one of the most important things that you can do as a parent. Certainly, you know, if you're sat there lying in bed on your digital devices and you've told your child not to be, it's kind of sending a mixed message. So there are a few simple guidelines to remember. Firstly, a bedtime routine need only last around 30 or 40 minutes. Also, you want to make sure that you're darkening down. Darkening down helps to signal to the brain to release melatonin, that sleep-promoting hormone, and help them to, children to fall asleep quicker. Also you want to make sure that you keep the same activities every single night because that will help to build up a routine and keep it regular. Ideally practice the same activities at the same time every night and it helps to tell your internal body clock that you're doing that, those same things at the same time and that promotes a good night's sleep. An easy way to think about the bedtime routine is that we're preparing not making our child fall asleep. So when it comes to bedtime battles, um, some of our children can really put up that fight at that time of night. And as parents, we have those days where we come back from work and we're tired, we're exhausted. So what are the best ways for us as parents to really still be firm to implement that routine? So I think the best thing to remember is that even if you are the best parent on the planet, you will still experience bedtime battles. And this is because as our children develop, certainly around that two years of age, they start to realise that they can say no, and they can say no to going to bed. So what is the best way to combat this? Well, there are lots of things that we can do leading up to the bedtime. So the first one is have lots of calming activities, so what we call quiet play. So you might do um, after dinner, you know, they're playing with blocks, they're reading, they're colouring, drawing, that kind of thing. Also, make sure that the environment is nice and quiet and calm and start to darken down. Also, you might want to give them a little bit of a nudge that bedtime is coming. Because if your child is immersed in a great building project and you suddenly say it's bedtime, then they're not going to be that happy. But if you say, you know, 30 minutes till bedtime, 20 minutes to bedtime, you give them a little bit of warning, they're more likely to do it. And then my favourite is create a to-do list. So you might get a little whiteboard, write on the activities that they need to do and get them, put them in charge, get them to tick them off as they go and allow them to choose their bed clothes and their bedding as well. By giving them this element of control, they're more likely to be on board with the process. Thanks, Dr Guy. Um, so there you have it, our best tips and solutions to really get your children ready and settled for sleep. If you have any of your own tips and ideas, please feel free just to share them in the comments section. And you never know, the simplest of ideas really might make that difference to another parent. Thanks for watching and good luck.